Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be testing the Federal 124 grain HST. Now we're going to be testing this using two weapons today. We have the Smith & Wesson Shield and the Smith & Wesson 5906, which is going to stand in for a full-size duty weapon. The Federal HST is a very popular round among the firearms community for self-defense ammunition. Um, it comes in 124 grain, 147, and in plus B offerings. Today we're just testing the standard pressure. Now it's known for having very nice mushrooming once it enters the target and a low risk of jacket core separation. I uh, usually test more exotic ammunition, stuff that's new to the market or might not work. Uh, today we hope that this works perfectly um, to show you what you should be looking for in a self-defense round. So let's see how it performed. We started off with the shield. We fired a lot of rounds, mainly because we have the ammunition and I kept missing. <laughs> so uh, as we can see here, every round penetrated to at least 16 inches. We had one round that penetrated to 15 and a half inches. Everything else made it outside the block. That's when we realized, hey, we should probably back this up with another block of gel to try to capture the bullets. So we switched over to the uh, 5906 here and surprisingly enough, we got the exact same results. Um, we fired a few rounds and we found that each round penetrated to at least 16 inches. Some actually, or one actually made it to the 17 inch mark. Each round performed perfectly. It expanded perfectly. Um, uh, we have one right here. As you can tell, it has very nice expansion, uh, uniform, no jacket core separation, exactly what you should be looking for in a defensive round. Those permanent cavities are very large and they reach out throughout the entire block of gel. So we're not seeing a dump of energy early on in the gel like we see with some other types of ammunition. Uh, we're seeing perfect performance throughout the entire thing. Now what's very interesting is we expected to see a difference in performance depending on barrel length, but it seems like if you're carrying this in your concealed carry or a full size, it's gonna perform exactly the same. So thanks for watching today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know if you're gonna carry this type of ammunition below in the comments section, and I'll see you next time.